Last time on The Great Ace Attorney 2. And the three page last. Wait a second. Wait. Three pages. pages. There's two. two. Oh, so yeah, it oh, is referring to that. So, how do you know? Oh, so, <laughs> well done. This here is the will left behind by Mr. Osogi. The two page <laughs> will. What? Could it be that originally there was a third page? I'm quite certain, my lord. There was a third page at oh, the time. Oh, 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 page at the time. Uh, As it happens. I, I've, I've yes, uh, been keeping the third page it. of the document down my pants for no reason. In my pant pocket, I mean. My lord, the defense calls for Genshin Impact's last words to his son to be read out loud before the court now. Genshin Impact? I can't say I've ever heard of him. Genshin is Oh, uh, if I could be of assistance here, I would be happy to translate the words into English for the court. Cosima, the truth is shrouded in darkness. A darkness only our clan's great sword can pierce. My Karma, twist thy head and watch them fall. You, you don't think? Yes, I do oh. think, which is why I suggested if you. Oh. 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 No way! <laughs> I've been here the whole time. In pursuit of justice, Lord Clint Van Zeeks tragically lost all sense of morality. How dare you! I refuse to believe that of my brother. Too much time has passed. We cannot ever hope to know more than we do now, especially since the alleged will that he penned in his final moments <laughs> appears to have been lost forever. I have it right here. <laughs> My brother's last will and testament. Where did you find that? Sticky <laughs> to the rescue once again. I forbid the contents of that document being read out. Court is adjourned with immediate effect. Clear the courtroom. No. Nope. Objection. Yes. Ooh <laughs> Do that, my lord, and you will suffer a fatal blow as Lord oh, Chief Justice. Yes. I, Clint Van Zeeks, hereby confess to the following. I am the killer who has come to be known in society as the Professor, guilty of four counts of murder. My guilt was at once recognized by another, and I became subject to his extortion. He held over me the threat of exposing my wicked crime to my beloved wife and brother. Under that threat, I have done this man's bidding for months now, killing those he demanded I kill. To my extortioner, Maelstrom, <coughs> may you feel the jaws of the beast at your throat every time you swallow. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Dissolution Plays the Great Ace Attorney 2 Resolve, where we play the games and do the voices. Yeah! yeah. I'm Taylor. I'm Pete. And I'm Sarah. <laughs> nice. Nice. And just before we do hop on in, if you do like what we do, why don't you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and then ring the bell to receive notifications about when we post future content. And if you really want to go the extra mile, you can watch another one of our old videos. And if you've all caught up, well, thank you. Yes. I applaud your, your commitment. <laughs> your determination, as it were. Yes, very much so. And with that, with you know what I'm just realizing? I don't think we actually did... I'm Pete, I'm Sarah, and I'm Taylor in the last intro. We did. We did. Did we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You were just oh, doing, no. I, did you just have a nap in the opening? <laughs> Is that what happened? Yeah, probably. I Fair mean, we did, we did get distracted, and then I tried <clears throat> to make up a wild theory that I had in the shower. Which may theory. still be proven partially correct. Maybe. Yes. We'll have yes. to see. <laughs> Hold it! Whoa! <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Just before we hop on into the video, uh, we did want to take another moment. I, I know we did this in the last video, and I know this also isn't going to be about Ace Attorney, but so Doodle Squish sent us some fan art, as you know, last week. Um, there's she, more. But there's more. <laughs> there's more. And so we figured that we'd show the rest of them. So this is Disillusion Plays from the Future. So, or, or is it the past? Who, Who knows? knows at this point? Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Something like that. Yes. And so, anyway, so. On screen, you should see Sarah's. Me. Yes. <laughs> We're surrounded a by the characters that she played in uh, Danganronpa One. Wait, e wait, wait, Pete, Pete. What? Up in the upper left-hand corner is that Mukro Ikusaba, the 16th student, the one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Hiding somewhere within the school. I mean, watch at this point, it wouldn't be hiding complete somewhere within without the picture. it, would it, boys? <laughs> no. So there's that one. Um, she also did one for Taylor as There's well. There's one Taylor. There oh. he is. There's your boys. It is very nice. <laughs> I, I hadn't fun. actually seen the full card version. I love the shirt. Yes. I want I want the shirt. <laughs> Just 
Yeah, we need to we need to print a shirt for Taylor. <laughs> I also quite like how um, yeah, Hifumi there has the uh, the one eye covered, the sort of the anime glare. Yes, the glasses I mean glare. personally, I don't know why I'm not up front with the other protagonists, but you know. <laughs> I am the most important character. <laughs> and then she did one for me as well. Yeah, with this yeah. is the yeah. With Bianca and uh, well, Yasuhiro my, and Shouty Man. I, I have to commend the dedication Chihiro. to uh, the, some of the hairdos on there. I mean, Hero's yeah. hair is kind of wild. Absolute Corn nightmare. Cobb uh, Mondo there. <laughs> Absolute nightmare, I imagine. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. And so, then, of course, Monokuma. Of course, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> the, the minor side character. <laughs> So yeah, th we I, we just wanted to sort of take a moment to say thank you ever so thank much for these. You. They're super cool. Yeah, um, it's awesome. It's absolutely, like, it's so nice to see it. Even though we've kind of you know taken a break from the series, it's still it's still nice to kind of see all of the characters and everything in this way, and it's very nice. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. We love you. Yes. <laughs> so thank you so much. And with that, let's get back into it. And let's finish this thing. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now I've got to get back into this. Oh, lovely. There we go. <laughs> These past ten years, I've fought tirelessly with the darker recesses of London's criminal underworld. And you I've... were part of London's crindle, criminal underworld. <laughs> crindle <you dink>. umanold. <laughs> Crim <laughs> criminal umanold. <laughs> and I've used what, and I've used whatever means necessary to ensure that justice prevails and law and order reign supreme. Objection! That couldn't be further from the truth. The fact is, you haven't fought crime at all. How dare you! You're part of the problem! I saved Clint Van Zeeks from dishonor in his death! Objection! Whilst behind the scenes, you systematically buried anyone who stood in your way. And then, you made my father take the blame! It, it was unavoidable! It was the only way to protect our justice system! And public order! <laughs> Let's not forget the others you had killed as well. Setting the defendant up as the Reaper to cover up the truth behind the murders of countless more! That's... Oh. ENOUGH! Do you have any idea of the conniving that led to the acquittals of those wretched criminals? We have to fight fire with fire! Our courts can't function without a reaper! Can't you see all I've done for this country? This has been my struggle! Oh yes, boo-hoo, let's get the world's smallest Stradivarius. OBJECTION! You've done nothing! It's Lord Van Seeks here who worked tirelessly and justly in court while enduring the disgrace of the Reaper name! <laughs> and Inspector Gregson, fraught with anguish for having sullied his hands through desire to do the right thing! Not to mention Genshin Asogi, who risked his life going in the pursuit of the truth you tried to hide! No. The darker recesses of London's underworld were largely filled by you! Boom! <laughs> you little... Oh god, I don't like When that will face. you get it through your thick skulls? Oh, I don't like that expression. That was all for queen and country. <laughs> I'm tiring of that excuse. You've consistently twisted the truth for bargaining power to make others do your bidding. Nothing more. <sighs> People who willingly twist the truth and coerce others have no right to call themselves part of the judiciary. I strongly suggest you don't ever talk of justice again! Yes! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I think Lord Strongheart's having a bit of a breakdown down uh, there, I don't you so. say? <laughs> off it's, off it's owners. It's getting interesting, this. We really should have brought more popcorn to sell. I think, I think he's going to need to spend some time in the psychiatric ward at St. Sinners. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Well, well, well. Deary me, my good fellow. Oh, no. He was, was Sherlock Holmes. He was Sherlock Holmes the entire time. <laughs> I well deserved a round of applause, I think, for a quite marvellous performance. What the what? hell? What are you talking about? Those delightfully grave expressions. That's beautifully pronounced Queen's English. Guys, oh, I think, really? guys, I think he's lost it. Our friends from the Far East are quite the picture of industriousness. Uh... You fraud. Keep your mockery! Please, don't misunderstand. It really is exactly as you've both said. Oh, God. What are you trying to say? My God, it's hard to go between them. <laughs> you, right, really I, well. you know, it's a it's a good show that Pete had his tea before this because yeah, let's sure. give let's give a well deserved round of applause to Pete stop for it. being able stop to it. kind of do stop this. It. Stop it. I have occupied the dark recesses of London's underworld, and how did you put it? Done nothing. Oh God! I confess, it's a little embarrassing to have it pointed out quite so starkly, but yes. I really have done nothing, which means. Oh, you son of a! I can be no! indicted oh, oh, no! for nothing. No, no, no! You are an accomplice. What? You are an accomplice. This is this where the bunny you ears are? You are the are perpetrator, coming? the could, mastermind. Could no. this be the bunny ears? <laughs> Probably. It must be. You are not getting away with this. It's true, personally. I have committed no crime! You have, you son of a doodah! I've been merely surrounded by fools who've acted very rashly indeed. Objection! You, you can't get away with that! You've consistently preyed on people's weaknesses! And what? Threaten them? Are you sure it wasn't just bargaining? Oh my goodness me, this is, this is quite something, isn't it? I would like to address all the good lords, ladies, and gentlemen of the judiciary here present. I think that's us. I think so. You all know of these darker recesses in our great capital. And deep down, I believe you also know that you're a loony! <laughs> yeah. That to fight people who dwell there requires at least some of us to occupy the darkness ourselves. I have man's, lost my man's voice. Yeah, say, oh, no, I'm sorry. I can man's has track. watched Batman exactly one time, and this is what it does to an MF. <laughs> oh, God, my voice, pal. Oh, no, F in oh. chat. <laughs> so, let me appeal to your good sense now. Consider the situation with me. <clears throat> if this catalogue of horrifying revelations were to become common knowledge among the six million inhabitants of London, what might happen? <clears throat> to learn that the infamous murderer of royals and nobles was a respected member of the aristocracy himself. That evidence was fabricated in the scapegoat's trial amid secret negotiations with prosecutors to effect a jailbreak. That the Reaper of the Bailey was an organized group of assassins managed by a Scottish Yard inspector. And finally, God, he's still going. <laughs> that it was all masterminded by the Lord Chief Justice himself. <laughs> if the general public of Britain knew the truth, all faith in the police and the prosecutor's office would be completely lost. Without doubt. Public order in the capital would completely break down. We'd be cast back to the lawless days of the last century. Precisely as it was a hundred years ago, when one in ten of the population were criminals. Think what we've accomplished since then. A public policing force, a comprehensive set of laws. <coughs> And if we want to continue protecting this new era of law and order, I say again, 
We must at times occupy the darkness ourselves. That was by the short curlies, guys. I'm amused because in that brief, I, I don't know if it was just me imagining it, but in that far away little shot, he looked like he had little baby arms. Little baby arms! <laughs> his arms looked, I don't know, his arms didn't oh, look the like they were sticking out enough. plastic ones. It just looked kind of, <laughs> <laughs> his arms just didn't look like they were sticking out far enough. It, it amused me. <coughs> Oh my god! Oh my, are you alright? <laughs> no, no. Well, it's 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 like I'm no! struggling. I'm struggling to like go between yeah, the two of them you're doing more really than usual. Well. You're doing well. We have successfully identified and apprehended the man responsible for taking Inspector Gregson's life. That is all that was expected of this trial. All these other matters that have been discussed will be eliminated from the meetings of these minutes meetings minutes of these proceedings in the interests of preserving law and order and to protect her majesty the queen of course and cover my ass i mean i think i think <laughs> the, the the my voice breaking works yeah, for yeah, him yeah. because yeah, it, it, it does it, it adds to the the sort of the loony yeah, yeah. him sort of breaking down that being said it doesn't sound so good when i try and do van Zeeks, though mm -hmm. and it also does <laughs> Well, my lords and ladies, lords, ladies and gentlemen, what say you? What's the difference between a lord and a gentleman? I think he's a. I, I, think, so. I think he's cracked. Standing. In me. He has a point. The things Lord, lord Strongheart has done are quite unforgivable. Or questionable, rather. But on the other, on the other end. <laughs> Isn't it our duty to maintain law and order in the capital? You can't deny that the threat of the Reaper over the years has done wonders for the crime rate. And by fair means, or, but by fair means or foul, it's all all thanks to Lord Strongheart. 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 Are you hearing this? This is the will of the British ju judiciary. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> yeah. oh, For your rousing response, friends, I express my heartfelt gratitude. I absolutely am not a supervillain. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, <clears throat> in accordance with the overwhelming wishes of the court, the record shall be erased. <laughs> You have to respect the man's ability to turn a situation to his favor. Yeah, the, uh, the, his confidence. Mm -hmm. Emphasis on the Khan. That and yeah. the, Lord. that and the British public's utter frickin' sheep herd mentality. What's changed? <laughs> later on, <clears throat> multiple generations later, Lord Strongheart's descendant, Nigel Farage, would go on <laughs> oh, to Jesus. recommend a course of action for the British public that would also be widely accepted, with no negative consequences whatsoever. Taylor, let's, let's not let's not do this. Yeah, let's not get political. <laughs> let's try and keep it clean. <laughs> we don't want them to come. We don't want them to bring the pitchforks after us. Not that we voted for it, by the way. No. No. God no. We were opposed. I, I didn't. I didn't either. I'm yeah, sure well, you. Well, you don't well, live here. I guess so you didn't have the chance to. <clears throat> Lord Strongheart really is a master of manipulation. You've conclusively proven his guilt. Yet still he manages to evade oh justice. Oh my god. Oh. I just don't know what we can do. Shoot him. It's uh, Yeah. Again, it's just it's like hitting home in the real world too, because again of certain other <laughs> political well, events. Yes. Certain large yeah. orange people. <laughs> yes, with a bad toupee. I guess who are also whose guilt has also been conclusively yeah. proven, mm -hmm. but also manages to evade consequences. He just gets to sit there in court going, oop ba do. Ba -do -ba -de -do. <laughs> you cannot do anything to me. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, no, no, what do I do want to say about not being political? Ba -do -ba -do. I've I got another to crime for justice. you. Oh my god, can we know? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone but, knows that Trump does the best oompas. Oh, you said the name. Oompas. Oh no. Yeah, name drop. We, you know, before it could it was it was Mildly ambiguous. <laughs> Mildly. Slightly. Anyway, what can we do? I, I just don't know what we could do. But what can we do? No, Taylor, no. We're, no. Taylor, we're 15 minutes in. Stop it. <coughs> Ridosuke. 
It looks like the trial really is going to come to an end now. I'm almost out of options, I think. The bunny! Took the yes. ear. Took the ear. Took the ear. Took the it's bunny, it's bunny, bunny, bunny. Bunny. It's bunny time. <laughs> oh my god. There's, wow. There's really only one use path evi- left open to me. Use evidence? Yes, use evidence. Yeah. I'm glad I saved just then. Yes. We've got we've got to get Shomes in on this. Ooh. Yes, as I know only too well. The only thing that carries any weight in court is hard evidence. Do you know what would be real funny? If it's like, okay, we use oh, the ears. We use the ears of the bunny, and it shows on the other end, and he's like, oh yes, I just so happen to have a special guest here with me. Hello, dearie. <laughs> it's me. It's the Queen. <laughs> queen no, it's like before, it's like, I have arranged for the Queen of England to be present for in these the proceedings the entire <laughs> time. She's, she's outside uh, in uh, the freaking uh, lobby. Uh, uh, <laughs> and then it all comes full circle back to Taylor when he goes, Do you, Do you think, think we'll, we'll meet the, the Queen? queen? <laughs> you know, I was thinking that in the last episode because he kept mentioning the Queen, and I thought, Taylor did say, Do you think we'll meet the Queen? I'm like, Don't be daft. <laughs> Just because it's in Britain don't mean we're going to meet the Queen. Don't, and don't then, mean we're going to meet Queen. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Pete, 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 again, it's like having a um, a I'm, British thing featured in a Japanese game mm-hmm. without referencing Jack the Ripper in some way. Well, just, yeah, it, it can't yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. I'll, I'll give you that. Hard evidence. <laughs> oh, yeah, my evidence oh. is rock hard right now. Whoa! My evidence! Whoa! But, but Mr. Hodo... What evidence is there to use at this stage of the trial? The bunny! The bunny! <laughs> have you forgotten? I have an idea. I don't know whether anything will come of it, but... If there was ever a time for using this particular <laughs> item we have among the evidence, it's now! <laughs> the bunny! The bunny! Do it! The bunny! bunny. Take that! <laughs> oh my! Yes! Mr. Shomes asked you if you... You have... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so also, excited! Put your teeth in! <laughs> oh my! Yes! Mr. Shomes asked if you had that with you earlier. <laughs> You've exposed all of Lord Strongheart's wrongdoing now. I've no doubt that Mr. Shomes has already deduced exactly how the truth would unfurl. So I think it must be time for the great detective to take center stage, don't you? <laughs> oh, let me have some tea real quick. Say, oh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> glug, 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 my, glug, glug. <laughs> my God, my God. I sounded like three people saying it oh, at the same time. No. Like, let me have some tea real quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sarah, play the uh, we'll be right back thing. <laughs> oh, we don't have that one on the soundboard. Oh, no, we don't. We don't. No. <laughs> it's okay. Everyone in the comments, F in chat for Pete's vocal cords. Yes, while Stop we it. have this uh, brief intermission for our uh, most talented gentleman about to do several voices. Oh, no. Yes. How are you doing today? You doing good? You, you doing? <laughs> you all yeah. having fun? <laughs> <laughs> Play any fun games recently? <laughs> Maybe Shomes can be like, Oh yes, oh. it's me, Mr. Shomes. Oh, oh, my. Oh. <laughs> oh. Like, oh. <coughs> oh, goodness. It's <laughs> freaking Sephiroth. Cloud. <laughs> Speaking of Sephiroth, how do you guys feel about the new Moogle designs? I hate it. So it was I like, hate it. it. But, but the thing is, is they haven't changed it since Remake. And in Remake, he looked like a koala as well. I don't and like And now it. they look like, you know, they still, they look, I, I, I'm not saying I like it. Yeah. I don't. But the teeth! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I haven't seen the teeth. Is it a Sonic situation? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sarah, 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 can you make a timestamp for putting the the koala teeth on screen right now? Okay, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so let's just <clears throat> let's go past that. Yes, absolutely. The Final Fantasy VI movies. Let's are the take best. the hair by the ears. Then. Oh, and the nine ones. And heave. The hair by the ears and heave. All right, here goes. Heave. <laughs> Jesus. Ow! 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 ow. My dear fellows, must I remind you every time, a gentle tug will suffice. Mr. Shoves! You're looking in quite the wrong direction, Mr. Narahodo, because I'm over here. Uh, oh! oh Mr. Mr. Narahodo, he's... <laughs> and he's like, he's in Lord Strongheart's coat. Uh-huh. <laughs> he just like pops out. What? 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 Hologram? What? <laughs> what? What is happening right now? Obi-Wan 
about Rohoda? I am afraid you are my only hope. It's just a show. Wait, what era was this Did again? Did he die? <laughs> He's a ghost. He's, He's a ghost. ghost. <laughs> Hologram. Like, Hologram. Iris has go done hologram. gone and invented holograms, people. Jesus I, Christ. I, I, like, oh, I am merely a projection on a piece of glass. What on earth? <clears throat> oh, what, my God. What, what is this? What is happening right now? <clears throat> I, I, I wasn't expecting you back, Shones. What is happening? No. Oh, delighted to be here again, Lord Strongheart. Oh, my God. What is happening, guys? What? What, what is the meaning of this? Bailiff, seize him! Put that man in irons! Uh, this is, good luck with that. This is a closed court! You've been warned or You've been warned once already, man! Cool, bloody hey! What the? What, what the? We can't get hold of him, my lord! Hey. <laughs> Maybe if I. Oh, no! Oh, we just, we just go wrong <laughs> way! Again, what? Is that doing some kind of like Macarena here? <laughs> Be shocked by the tone of my voice. <laughs> Check out my new weapon, a weapon of choice. Surely it's do 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 do. Can not touch this? Yeah, do, 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 do. Oh, that's so true. The other one was just in my head for reasons. <clears throat> I am afraid your efforts are wasted. You see, the great detective you see before you. Oh, this is amazing. It's composed entirely of light and shadow. An image, if you will. I just love this. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Narahodo, I must congratulate you on your fine deduction. Uh, uh, Mr. Sholmes? What on earth is... Are you familiar, I wonder, with the invention known as the telephone? Um, well, yes. I hear that some public telephones have been installed recently in Tokyo. And then there's this one box that has a man pop out of it with some other brabble of people. <laughs> what? Doctor the Who. TARDIS. Oh, for God's sake! I'm just, I'm just like. The TARDIS. What? what the hell is he saying? <laughs> it was with, it's because he said it was installed in Tokyo. Pete, a British man not picking up on. It was because Doctor he was reference. talking about it Boo being in him. Japan. It's <laughs> no. <laughs> it's because you were talking about it being installed in Tokyo, and I'm like. And so my brain just wasn't thinking of British yeah. things. Well, there's enough. one thing we know about Doctor Who, it's that he never visits locations outside of Britain. Well, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> the sound of the speaker's voice is converted to an electrical signal and transmitted instantly to another place. Instant transmission, if you will. <laughs> Quite. Sounds are transmitted. So could not images keep them company, I mean? Iris and I did some modest experimentation to Just develop casually. Such, to develop such a device specifically for this very yes, day. It passed an afternoon. Modest experiment, Mr. Sholmes. What a modest description. And somewhat incidentally, I thought we might just as well transmit an entire city. Wow. <laughs> and oh my God. And wouldn't you know it, I happen to have Hello there, dearies. On the phone with me oh. right now. And I've only been transmitting the entire court scene to the Buckingham Palace. Oh, shoot. Wow. Somewhat incidentally, Mr. Sholmes. Now you're just being immodest. And I also happen to have managed to compact it wirelessly, I might add, <laughs> into a bunny and wow. what was the other one? A uh, mouse. A mouse. A mouse. Uh, actually, Hurley, I think you'll find that's my part of the invention. <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> we, actually, we both participated equally, I believe. Mm-hmm. A 70-30 split. <laughs> Do you mean to say... You're not actually here, Sholmes. Well done, Makoto. <laughs> ah, I knew my trusty partner would have no trouble grasping the concept. He's quite good at grasping things, if you know what I mean. Except he's grasping the stand to steady himself after your shark arrival. It's not the first time he's grasped the stand. Goodness gracious. Oh, poor father. I would have hoped he might have been forewarned and be the great detective's <laughs> partner. Leave this courtroom at once! Get out, or I swear to you! Dear me. You, on the other hand, Lord Strongheart, appear to have a very poor grasp of the situation. Allow me to reiterate. I am not here. Which, <clears throat> which would, I hope, lead naturally to one asking... Where exactly are you? 
Please say the palace. Please, yeah. I really, please. The very question I was awaiting. I am present. Present. I am present. Oh. Enjoying the air oh. in a rather oh. splendid garden. Oh, please. Please, come on. A garden? Not just any garden, you understand. A garden <laughs> of fucking <laughs> Gotcha, yes! sucker! Yes, 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 yes! Hello, yes! <laughs> Oh, uh, my God! The, I, did, I, I, did, I did call it. I did call that one. <laughs> if the queen pops up as a hologram, oh she just, like, God. peeks in. And, like, oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. What? You... You can't be! Buckingham Palace! <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what's Buckingham Palace, Mr. Zato? I've, I've never heard of it. It's perhaps not the best time to say that, Mr. Narahoto. You're Narahoda. a spy, Mr. Narahoto. <laughs> Excuse me, did that, did that small Japanese man say that he didn't know what fucking Empire is? Uh, uh, off of his head. No, <laughs> off his head. Do you ever read the news, Mr. Narahoto? Well, I would, but I can't read. Ahem, <laughs> <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Mr. Sholmes. Yes? Is, is Iris with you there? That's a good question. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, well, now. Iris is currently enjoying some tea. With the queen. With the queen. <clears throat> With <laughs> her... <laughs> yes! <laughs> With her majesty. Oh, my God. Her, her majesty? Oh. Not just any her majesty, you understand? Oh. <laughs> her majesty, the queen of the British Empire. Oh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> What? Yes! Yes! <laughs> what on earth is this all about? Buckingham Palace is Her Majesty the Queen's residence in London, Mr. Narahodo. Order! Order in court! I demand immediate silence! Her, her, her Majesty the Queen! You can't be. I mean, no. This... This is some sort of unforgivably distasteful trickery by a third-rate detective. That's all. <laughs> unforgivably distasteful trickery? Hmm. What an apt description. <laughs> a closed court session attended by elite members of the judiciary is a rare event. I presumed that Her Majesty would be more than a little curious about the proceedings. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I decided to show oh. her. <laughs> Excuse me, I decided to show her everything oh. from start to finish. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> huh? you, sh you, 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 you showed her? <laughs> Indeed, I, sh I sure showed her, Mr. Sh Mr. Reno's cake, Mr. Narahodo. Did you just almost call me Mr. Show? Mr. I nearly did, yeah. <laughs> I sure showed her, Mr. Narahodo. <laughs> the entire thing, I mean. The case. By dint of the Herlock Sholmes remote cinema, 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 cinematograph? Cinematograph. Cinematograph. Yeah. Cinematograph. Which is a nonsense wow. word. Like, you, you, you meddling. <laughs> <laughs> this is some kind of nightmare. <laughs> Just as I appear to be standing before you, regaling you with talk of my latest invention. <laughs> the coats are on the side there. Yeah. No doubt you've inferred that the reverse is also true. You... you don't mean... Oh, but I do. Her Majesty... Yes, hello, dearie. ...has seen and heard every moment of the proceedings. Oh, my God. I assumed there would be no objection, after all. Every trial in this country... It's conducted under the auspicious... auspicious? Auspices. 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 Sorry. Every trial in this country is conducted under the auspices of Her Majesty, as you know. You! You! <gasps> I confess, I am quite impatient to hear Her Majesty's opinion. <laughs> so are we! So are we! About the unforgivable, distasteful trickery in which you've been engaged over the past... Mm, ten years? <laughs> no, I, I was merely. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, sorry to keep you all waiting. Uh, Vicky and I have had so 
much to talk about. Uh, Excuse me, could you please call me Victoria? <laughs> I'm not Vicky. It's a little bit... It's Her Majesty. It's a little bit too, uh, what's the word, impolite, uh, <laughs> casual. Casual. <laughs> Iris! Oh, there you are. Oh. Oh, in fact, I have a little message here from Her Majesty. So we're not going to get Aww. a full model from the Queen. <laughs> You're not going to meet the Queen. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> Message. Ooh, that face. That face. He's like going full freaking like. Uh, <laughs> he's Iris is pouting because Sean's just plucked yeah. a scroll <laughs> out from her. I wanted to read it, Ernie. I'm just amused because because like Strongheart seems to be going full Sasquatch over there. Yeah, he's <laughs> like with yeah. his face. Well then, if everyone is sitting comfortably, Iris. Mm. <clears throat> Forthwith and with sorry. Forthwith and with immediate effect, all authority previously afforded to a male strongheart is hereby revoked forevermore. <laughs> Furthermore, he will be prosecuted for crimes against his country in a public trial by jury in the coming days. <laughs> oh, it seems that Her Majesty doesn't believe we need to fight fire with fire. God save the Queen. <laughs> God save the Queen, indeed. Justice in this country needn't be administered from the shadows at all. <laughs> Male Strongheart. The darkness you fostered to conceal your despicable actions these last ten years is a thing of the past now. After today, your brand of law and order has no future. Because no longer are you the Lord Chief Justice. In the eyes of the law and of Her Majesty the Queen, you are nothing but a criminal! <clears throat> I feel a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> More adjourned! A adjourned! A adjourned! A adjourned! A adjourned! Court is adjourned! Oh, oh dear. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Not so clever now, are you? Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, it's a good show he landed. Oh, Whoa! Wow, it broke the scale. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. Is it? Wow. Oh! Is it gonna like? Oh no. It's not gonna fall and like. Stab oh no. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, shit, oh no. Oh. Oh Jesus. Uh, oh my God. <gasps> oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! Holy bloody hell! The eyebrows are on fire! The court, evacuate the courtroom! Jesus Christ! I knew that putting all them flames in a place made mostly of wood was a bad oh, idea! Can somebody call the fire brigade? Gee, well, the cops. I hope, I hope they've got insurance. <laughs> I'm gonna need a sec to have some water. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm gonna go out and say that was the most epic breakdown I've seen in an Ace Attorney game. Like, oh the, my uh, I, god! I thought it was gonna this go a bit dark. This guilty conclusion brought to you by Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not enough lens flares in there. <laughs> there, no, that's uh, that's oh, no, JJ Abrams. That's JJ Abrams. Michael Sorry. Bay's the explosions. JJ Sorry. Abrams the lens flares. My bad. Both of them. And if it bad. was a tidal weight of blood, that would have been um. Oh, who's the one that produced Kubrick? Django? Yeah, no, not Kubrick. Um. Tarantino, Quentin oh, Tarantino. Uh, oh, I was confusing it yeah. with uh, The Shining there, but, sorry. But yeah, as you said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with you saying it was, good, I thought, I thought, thought it was gonna, gonna be bulbric. I thought yeah. it was gonna get stabbed. Thought, but there were yeah. so many I, pointy the, things. The, 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 so the, 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 the spike, the, bowls, the, spike yeah. in the, the spike in the middle. Yeah. The, the spike in the middle of the of the thing at the arm. Yeah. The spike on the bottom of the bowl. No, that's what like, I was like, thinking. Like, like, oh, it, 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 being <laughs> being literally crushed under the scales of justice would have been an awfully poetic it way to really would. It must be said. It really would. Lord, Lord Clint Van Zeeks left a will. In which he confessed to everything. Oh my god, that face. When those words came out of Asogi's mouth, it deranged me completely. I knew I must do anything and everything in my power to contain the situation. But I couldn't find the damned document. I searched his cell, but it wasn't there. Which 
precipitated the jailbreak plot, I presume. What? What do you mean? Yes. The need to obtain that will was all-consuming. This is, this is, oh, dang it. I'm, I'm turning into frickin' Van Ziegs again. Oh. The need to contain that will was all-consuming. I was sure that if I facilitated Asogi's escape, he would emerge with the will somewhere on his person. But despite searching his limp body in the cemetery that night, it still eluded me. It never even crossed my mind that it was concealed in the sword's hilt. What a freaking ass I've made of myself! <laughs> Uh, I'm surprised Van Zeeks isn't like trying to throttle him right now. Yeah, Van Zeeks could just. Like, I just I want Van Zeeks to do the steel heel on strong yes. hearts oh, and yes. drive yes. him into the ground. Yes, that would be amazing. <clears throat> what pains me now is that I can't do the st I can't deliver my swift steel vengeance to your face. <laughs> is that my brother left this world without a word to me? Without a word. Oh, wait, actually, there is a PS on the wheel, as it turns out. <laughs> oh, no. <coughs> I'm sorry, Lord Van Zeeks. Oh, no. Is the. It points a fact. Is it, oh, sorry, what? Is, 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 the, is, there, is there a PS on the wheel? <laughs> is, is there a PS oh, on, if we look on, on the, the wheel that Susanna's about to read? I don't know. Do, 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 do. I think perhaps that isn't the case. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> like, you what? You are. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. How can that be? There is more to his last word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's everyone laughing about? I just this is had to serious. unfurl the last few inches. PPS. Wow. By the way, Clint, I love you. Or, uh, Barack, I love you. I just love the idea that it's like Makoto was just like, well, I wasn't going to say it in here. I was going to leave it till, I, till, till we'd finished, but fine. <laughs> there is more to his last will and testament. What? Yes! What? what? <laughs> Jesus. As I confront the prospect of my demise, I feel bitter regret for my younger brother. Barak, you've always looked up to me, and now you follow in my footsteps to become a prosecutor. It is my fervent wish that my unspeakable deeds should not hinder your advancement. Advancement? 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 Adva I don't know. I think either works. He's I ask not for understanding, for none could understand my depravity. <clears throat> I ask only for forgiveness. Soki is a fine detective and a hunter worthy of respect. He has agreed to honor my final two wishes. The first is that this document survives. The second, I cannot commit to paper. I have confessed my sins to my wife. May she find resolution in my death. With my eternal gratitude to my Japanese friend, I rest my quill. Clint and Zeke's. Clint. God. Very quiet in here now. <sighs> Male strong heart. You colluded with Seishiro Jigoku in a criminal plot so immense, it spanned oceans. And you cold-heartedly murdered all those who knew the truth about what happened ten years ago. But why did you set about that now, a whole decade later? To ascend. Yep. To the very peak. What he wanted all along. <laughs> huh? These last ten years made me realize being the Lord Chief Justice wasn't enough. Short of becoming Her Majesty's Attorney General, I could have no real power to effect the changes needed in this country. And for that promotion, 
I needed to ensure no remnants of the past remained. How could you? I like everything to run smoothly. In the exact manner that I prescribe. Like a well-oiled machine. Like a clock where none of the gears are actually connected. <laughs> and I was just a step away. And for your ambition to succeed, did you even bother to count the number of brilliant people you had killed? Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. Reaper. Are you not forgetting something? Such as... You very much adopted your usual prosecutor-like demeanor in the proceedings now. But the reality of the situation is that you are the defendant in this trial. <sighs> However, the presiding judge would appear to have fallen from the bench, as it were. <laughs> May I suggest, therefore, that we entrust the final adjudication to an old friend? I but had him waiting in the lobby this entire time. <laughs> like, oh, my wife is most definitely upset with this. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, it's, more, it's a bit more like this, yes. Yeah. M m m my lord. I was going to say, it's been so long since we've seen this judge, yeah. I've forgotten what he sounded like. Yeah. He's, he's basically Makoto, but even even more kind of raspy and... Uh, Best of all, yes. As a member of the judiciary, I have been following the proceedings from the gathering. And I must say... I shan't ever forget the extraordinary battle between good and evil that I witnessed here today. It's not actually usually this bad, but my voice is screwed. <laughs> oh God, oh. I wasn't, I'm not used to seeing a little bit more of him. <laughs> the darkness that has blighted justice in our land these past 10 years has at last been dispelled. Thanks in no small part to the efforts of a bright young star from the East. Defense Counsel Narahodo. Uh, 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 yes, my lord? And his assistant. Ah, <laughs> oh, they don't mention it. I mean, of course they won't. Why would they, right? On behalf of everyone here present in the Old Bailey, I give you my heartfelt thanks. And we also extend our heartfelt thanks to Suzada. Yeah. Because without her, we all know that Ryunosuke would have John, fumbled. It, it would, yeah, he would have just Daddy, completely gone was, tits up. It was no trouble at all. Thank you. <laughs> You're, too kind. You're too kind, my lord. And Kazuma helped a bit here and there where he needed to. Yeah, but he was when he wasn't trying to affect bloody revenge against well, the person yeah. that he thought was his father's killer. <laughs> yep. The first. No, the first. <laughs> oh, no. Could you? Oh, could sorry. you maybe? I'm could sorry. you maybe pick I'm off? Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the first time the I faced is, you in court. You really don't know. <laughs> the thing, the thing is, right, is that it's not like I'm, it's not intentional now. No. I, the intent, like, it's hard to like keep. I know, I know. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I just it was <laughs> the first time in court. The first time I faced you in court, just under a year ago. Now, I had the faintest of intimations. Intimations that if British justice, so warped and twisted over its long history, was finally to no change, this might just be the man to do it. Aww. What? Then why didn't you say so till now? Because I didn't want you to have any false sense of hope. <laughs> but at the time, I wouldn't allow myself to acknowledge the possibility. I couldn't overcome my hatred of the mm, Japanese after the circumstances of my brother's death. Mr. Narahodo, allow me to apologize for countless discourtesies on my part. You are a lawyer of boundless talent. No. <clears throat> oh, Lord Van Seeks. Uh, uh, <clears throat> when I first arrived in Great Britain, I was literally a nobody. 
certainly not a lawyer. The truth is, my fortunes have entirely been made by the miraculous people I've met. My best friend, Kazuma Asogi, who led me here to Britain in the first place. My loyal and ever patient judicial assistant, Miss Suzato, who helped me study to become a lawyer. The brilliant Lord Van Zeeks, who never failed to challenge his nippany. rival. And not to mention, the exceptional master of logic and reasoning who showed me the true art of deduction, with a bit of help, Mr. Sholmes. <laughs> <laughs> Saving the best for last, Mr. Narahodo. <laughs> what a relief. <clears throat> I'm well aware that without all these people's help and support, I wouldn't be where I am today. The truth is a guiding light that always leads to happiness. I've lived by that principle for a long time now. But actually, it's not true. The truth can also cause great pain. Sometimes even leave people on the brink of despair. And for that reason, there are those who feel the need to hide the truth. Why do it instinctively? Who, even? who do it instinctively, even? But as soon as we allow our eyes to settle on something other than the truth, the darkness takes hold. And from there it grows, until eventually it makes us blind to the guiding light of the truth altogether. So that's why it's my belief that we must all resolve never to avert our eyes from what is just and true. He said the thing. <laughs> he did. Oh. <laughs> Still needs there to we go. give himself a little slap at the end. There. So that we can continue to walk the straight and narrow path ahead. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> well. Oh. I must excuse myself now. Oh. There what? is one other person who I want to thank. Is it Ito Iris? Was ever. B who has ever been by my side since I first <laughs> depart from the SS Burya. The one who ultimately determined the truth of this case. Sticky! <laughs> uh, well, I think I shall leave you with that now, and I must excuse myself, so toodaloo. But before I go, Mr. Narahodo, let me compliment you on your grand opus. What? What do you mean? My, my grand octopus? What? Grand octopus. Without your beautifully composed case against Lord Strongheart, Her Majesty would have been unable to act. Thanks to you and your fellows, the haunting undertones corrupting Britain's, Britain's justice system have been silenced. Um. Thank you very much. So, until our paths cross again somewhere. <laughs> well then, it would appear that this long trial has finally come to an end. My apologies for any anxiety caused, my lord. <laughs> I'm quite sure we shall meet here again here in the courtroom before long, Prosecutor Barack Van Zeeks. In conclusion of these proceedings, I hereby declare the defendant, Barack Van Zeeks, not guilty! Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh. Hell, oh, wonderful. they put the scales back up. No, they... No, they haven't. They haven't. Well, they're not the scales, but like the thing that was holding them. Oh. I thought that fell off too. No, I don't think I so. I think there was, like, it was, it was part arm. of the arm. It just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is all. Court is adjourned. Thank God. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a... Can you believe that we're only 30% of the way through the game? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Could you 
Could you imagine if that was the case? Oh if they, my if they god! Pulled, if they pulled like a freaking Symphony of the Night yeah, on this, like, it's like, oh, by the way, guys, you've got the rest of the Upside Down Castle now. Yeah, the, the Upside Down Old Bailey. <laughs> you've got to, you've got to, you've got to litigate the same cases again, but this time there's less evidence and it's harder. Oh Jesus! <laughs> We're going to call it New Court Plus. <laughs> New case plus. New case plus. All right then, the old Bailey antechamber. Ooh. It's it really is all over. But did I sacrifice too much? Mr. Narahodo? I really must congratulate you. It was a truly, truly splendid performance. Obviously, I couldn't be happier for you. Oh, thank you very much. But I really couldn't have done it without you at my side through it all, Miss Suzato. Oh? Uh, Her face, like, oh. I'm so shocked. Your, your kind words mean so much to me. I mean, it's not really kind, it's just kind of the objective truth, <laughs> but, you know... <laughs> It really was a very splendid show, that, Mr. Narahodo. Oh, Mr. No, no, no. It really was a very splendid show, that, Narahodo. <laughs> I'd have thought you'd be smiling from ear to ear, but you look rather glum. You look rather glum. Uh, well, of course, I'm delighted about the verdict. But now it's all over and I'm not going to see my friends anymore. <laughs> uh, but in exposing the truth, I'm afraid I've caused my client a great deal of pain. I'm really not sure that's what a lawyer ought to be doing. Oh, well, in that case, I'm quite sure that when you see Lord Van Zeek's smiling face, <laughs> everything will seem much better. <laughs> and he's going to be there like, um, <laughs> like trying to smile. <laughs> yeah. Like, I must smile. <laughs> 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 oh. I'm exercising muscles in my face. I haven't used these muscles yeah, in 30 it, years. <laughs> damn it. That's not a smile. Editing Pete, turn his mouth, flip his mouth over for just a sec. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to look really messed up. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, um, <clears throat> Mr. Sato, <laughs> everything seems worse. He has a face like thunder. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I really shouldn't have presumed. Mr. Narahodo. Ah, uh, uh, um, um yes? Oh. Don't hurt me. <sighs> Almost a year it's been now since I first <laughs> encountered you here in this very courthouse. Actually, too. And in real time, too. Two. <laughs> <laughs> For you to have risen to the level of excellence you demonstrated today, well, it's quite remarkable. But, but I, I expose the most unpalatable truth you could ever have imagined in court today. I feel as though I've robbed you of something you held so dear. We're gonna get a little smile. Aren't we? I hope we are. I think we're gonna. I really want to see. I think smile. we're gonna get a little smile. <laughs> What was it he said? To fight those who dwell in the darkness requires at least some of us to occupy the darkness ourselves. I think I've occupied the darkness far long enough. Mm. So I'm going to be contacting a tailor today and have some light colored clothes from now on. <laughs> Wait, why would he contact me? A tailor, not, not you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a tailor. <laughs> you know what I mean. <gasps> but that, that was just the feeble excuse of a coward. Only those with a steadfast eye for the truth have what it takes to fight the dark forces of crime. You made fine work of establishing that fact in court today. Oh. Well, thank you. What magnanimous words. I'm quite sure that Casper Saddle would have a smile on his face at this very moment if he were here. And it is no. <laughs> he wasn't he wouldn't be smiling. <laughs> Kazuma. No. Uh, oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Suzato, could you perhaps stop making guesses? Oh 
Oh dear. Um, I don't seem to be very good Mrs. at reading Otto. at all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's another face like thunder here. Oh my. He really was here. <laughs> <laughs> to think she didn't notice him. Lord Van Zeeks. Allow me to congratulate you on your acquittal. Congratulate me, or curse me. You failed to bring down the Reaper. I owe you an apology. I should think so too. <laughs> no, it is I who should apologize. Your father, Genshin. If I had been stronger, then perhaps I made an unforgivable error of judgment. I can offer no excuse. And I can offer no forgiveness. Then it seems like we're all buggered, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> that said, I suppose you fought for justice and the truth. For that, at least, I can't withhold respect. <sighs> Please, your... Your kind words are making me feel quite sick. <laughs> Your words mean more to me than you could know. I will hold them dear. Curse of a summer. I must say, there's one thing that's still bothering me. And are we going to have to present evidence for it? I'm, I'm oh, no. gonna, let's, do a little, let's do a little wee safety save here. What's that? The will that Lord Clint Van Zeeks wrote before his duel with my father. <gasps> the Sogi is a fine detective and a hunter worthy of respect. He has agreed to honor my final two wishes. Oh, yes. The first is that this document survives. The second, I cannot commit to paper. I have confessed my sins to my wife. May she find resolution in my death. With my eternal gratitude to my Japanese friend, I rest my quill. Clint Van Zeeks. Mm. What can the second of his final wishes have been? That your father agreed... That your father agreed to honor, you mean? Hmm. Uh, is this him? This is someone else. Shomes? I think perhaps. Or no, 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 you I think yeah. perhaps. I might be able to shed some light on that. What? Father! It was ten years ago. As you know, the day before. before the execution was. the day before, before. wait. the day before. before the execution was scheduled, I went to the prison to say my farewells to Genshin. Why aren't you putting up more of a fight, Genshin? If you'd only agree to it, Seishiro and I would gladly petition the government. We've been through this already. You don't need to worry about me. Anyway, you do. I have a favor to ask of you. Something of great importance. You're one of my greatest friends, Genshin. Whatever it is, consider it done. <sighs> I'm going to tell you an address. I need you to go in there at once, in secret, and telling no one. You should find a lady of the gentry in hiding there. A lady of the gentry? God, is, is this, this Sarah's, be Iris. Sarah's right? Sarah's right! Is this Clint's widow, then? Yes. She's not in a good way. <gasps> And she's with child. No. The birth is imminent. No. Why are you so shocked that you might be right? You've been right so many times. Stop I it. I haven't, though. Yes, you have. Stop as it. A, as, a, as a medical man, I'd like you to attend to her. Please, Genshin. Or, Eugen. You're her only hope. <laughs> I'm Genshin. <laughs> please, Obi-Wan Genshin. <laughs> Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. Makotaba. Makotaba. I, please, I just Eugen forgot Makotaba. his name. <laughs> you are my only hope. 
By any chance, is the child yours, Genshin? Don't be daft. <laughs> it's a favor that was asked of me by a man oh I knew. My oh my god. That's his dying wish. Oh no, did she die then? Oh no. no. She probably did but, die in childbirth. Well, no. She could have done it. He said she's in a bad way. I suppose that, yeah, maybe. But this will be the. And that explains why Shomes looked after her, because he's. As a favor to Eugen. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. My goodness. I swore to the man that I would help. That I would do whatever I could for his wife and his unborn child. But if something should happen to me, I need to ask you that same favor. You're the only person I know that I can truly rely on. What did you say? If something should happen to you, tomorrow night, you're going to be... to be... <laughs> you never know, though, do you? What life will bring? <sighs> All right, then. Tell me the address. I'll head there at once, with Seishiro and... No! Not with him. Pardon? This is a favor I'm asking of you, and only you, Eugen. <sighs> right, I see. Very well, then. That very night, I caught a train from Paddington to Dartmoor in Devon. I found the old house, in the middle of nowhere it was, an old hunting ground. Uh, hunt, uh, sorry, an old hunting hound lay asleep in the grounds. The poor woman. Oh, look, she's got the pink hair. Well, we don't know. Well, it's, she's, she's well, got it's not like, pink, but the curls. Yeah. The poor woman was on the floor at the back of a darkened room. She was in mortal danger. I broke her waters to precipitate the labor before she weakened further. It was a torturous birth. I did everything humanly possibly for... Whoopsie. I did everything humanly possible for her and her child. They've, they, it, was, it did yeah, say they possibly. Did no, I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Whoopsie. It was, that was a typo mm. on their part. <coughs> and in the end, I was lucky enough to welcome a new life into the world. But tragically... My efforts to save the mother's life were in vain. I held the healthy newborn girl in my arms and wept for longer than I care to remember. Eventually, in something of a daze, I looked around the room. There was precious little... The trunk. The trunk. Yeah. There was precious the trunk that yep mm. there was precious little in it but an old tra an old travel trunk caught my eye it had clearly been well looked after over the years made of top quality leather with fine stitching but it was when i saw the album album emblem on the side of it that everything dropped into place B for Baskerville. B Baskerville? You mean the woman was the wife of Lord Clint Van Zeet? Hmm. That's right. The newborn was his daughter. But but that makes no sense! Why on earth wouldn't Clint have entrusted the child to my care in that case? Because you would have been, if you got influenced by Strongheart, I guess. I was completely unaware that he even had a daughter. I suppose he didn't really have any choice. What? Well, your brother said that he'd confessed everything to his wife. So she must have been beside herself with worry for her child. If the true identity of the professor were ever to be made public, the girl would be forever branded as the daughter of the infamous mass murderer. Ugh. So the only solution 
was to distance the young girl from the Van Zeeks family as much as possible. I... I don't believe it. That's that was just that was just Makoto Brigger. I don't believe it. I imagine that in this in his final hour, Lord Clint Van Zeeks made the obvious choice. He would have thought to himself, this Japanese man here is someone I can trust. I honored my promise to Genshin, of course. However, only a month later, I was summoned back to Japan. And without disclosing the parentage of the child, I couldn't obtain permission to take her with me. Oh, how awful! I was completely at a loss. In the end, I had to ask my great <laughs> friend. No way. <laughs> I asked him if he so, would be a father so to her. <laughs> let's let's pause for a second to acknowledge the fact that Sarah, after saying, oh, I've got a crazy theory, but there's no way it's going to be right, and then apologizing for espousing the theory because there's no way that it could be right. Her theory was, in fact, <laughs> right. Hey, guys, I sense a hashtag coming on. I think you know the one. Hashtag Sarah is very smart in the comments, no, people. No, please don't. <laughs> In the, 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 it's going to be this unused character sprite that's never been seen before. It's not Iris. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny, but that's you know, that, would, that would you be know, a The only fault. problem was Sholmes was a terrible father, and he accidentally dropped the child down the well, and then he adopted Iris. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I asked him if he would be a father to her. That being Mr. Sholmes, I presume. I'm just waiting for the penny to drop. Yeah. Yes. I'm surprised it hasn't got yet. <laughs> he took one look into my eyes and agreed to it on the spot. Mr. Sholmes, he has a heart of gold. Really? All it can be said. Wait. All it can be said that I. Re really, all it can be said that I did for the child was to give her a name. Oh. There oh. we go. When I'd come to Britain, I was trying to escape from the grief of losing my darling wife. So, it was her name that I gave the little girl. Your wife's name, Professor Makotaba? In other words... Jennifer, yes. Jennifer. No, <laughs> stop it. <clears throat> the name of my mother. Come on. Ayami Makotaba. But Which is Iris in Japanese. Or something. Yeah, yes. that, uh, yeah. <gasps> oh! oh! That's right. Ayame. Or in English, <gasps> oh, Iris. So cute! <laughs> oh, Byakuya! Oh I mean, Byakusha! <laughs> Byakuya! <laughs> <laughs> it's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> oh, no! Iris? Uh... I... Yeah. I like to imagine that the Narahodos, they're like, Iris, Iris, I swear I've heard that name before somewhere. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Come I think, on. Well, look, I think it's I would somewhere just up have... here in my mind attic. Look, <laughs> he thought he had to twist his own head to open the sword. Well, Come on. <laughs> well, I think he would justify a Cesato takedown if he does <laughs> that. <laughs> yes, a steel heel. A steel heel and the Cesato takedown. <laughs> oh, that's the penny dropping. Ouch! Mr. Hodo, oh, what's wrong? The, this little thing just pinched me on the behind <laughs> my trouser pocket. Hard. That's hilarious. <laughs> ah, my dear fellows, can you hear me? Just give me one moment to tug on these ears. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Mr. Sholmes, is that you? Ouch! <laughs> yes, yes, we can hear you, Clem Fandango. <laughs> you see, you see what ex you see what excessive tugging can do. Let, well, let that be a lesson to you, all you adolescents <laughs> and you, Narahodo. <laughs> Mr. Sholmes, we weren't able to thank you properly before, but you were simply marvelous. Your checkmate move was a stroke of genius. 
You could say the queen was used to checkmate Ooh. the king, eh? Oh. Eh? <laughs> Indeed it was, wasn't it? I surpassed myself, I feel. It had become apparent to me that to stop the Lord Chief injustice <laughs> would require such measures. Pluto! Sissy! Oh! Iris! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased! What a wonderful outcome! Her Majesty Queen Vicky said she thought my special blend was delicious! Oh! Um, I'm sure she did! After all, no one brews a more delicious tea than you do, Iris. Let's have a party to celebrate. And Mr. Reaper, you simply must come too. Well, um, I'm, I'm afraid I couldn't. I couldn't. The Reaper of the Bailey, flustered by a ten-year-old girl. Again. Well, it's his niece. <laughs> yes. No, really? Oh, poo. Oh, poor them. But I give you my word that I shall present myself at your residence in the near future to express my gratitude. Oh, how lovely. You promised now. I won't let you forget. Bye for now. Guys, guys, are we not going to explain this to Iris? Yeah. We're not going to tell her about any of this? No? Again? <laughs> That would be unfair, but it, it's a tough one because, yeah, it's like they, they've got a point with, like, if they find out that she's Clint's daughter, it's going to be a bit... Mm. Well, I guess, I don't know, maybe it's, it needs to be broached by the right person at the right I guess, time, I guess. I guess so, yeah. Oh, all right, Iris. Thank you for all your help earlier. Oh, that was nothing. Just come, home, um, just come back home soon. I don't know why I had so much trouble saying that one. <laughs> Ah! Ouch! <laughs> One final pinch goodbye, was it? <laughs> I was amused, but like when Rinosuke did it, it pinched Shomes on the ear, but when Shomes did it, it pinched him on Rinosuke on the, on the bottom. bottom. <laughs> on the bottom. Well, I think I ought to be leaving. Oh, there was a smile. Honor demands I go elsewhere. Lord Van Zeex, would you care to accompany me? Hmm. Certainly. Mr. Narahodo, allow me once again to express my deep gratitude to you. I believe you saved my life. Hmm. No smile. No smile. Oh. Wait, Lord Van Zeex! Hmm? Yes? Give me a smile. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what are you intending to do now? Well, I was thinking I'd go back to my office and brood for the next <laughs> five days. I have a casket of wine to prepare <laughs> with the bod blood of my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly. I shall have to resign from the prosecutor's office. Oh no! I intend to publicize the full truth about, about, about the professor case. Oh, wow. Once that's done, the Van Zeek's family will be ostracized completely from London society. Okay. Surely not. So, as soon as I am free from my employment, I shall leave the capital. Oh, I see. Don't be a fool. Uh, don't be a fool. Cut. Oh. oh, no. Don't be a fool. Are those the actions of a man once feared as the mighty reaper of the Bailey? I, I beg your pardon. No, I beg your pardon. For the past ten years, you've endured the stat pseudonym and been cast as one of the dark forces yourself. Now that you've finally been freed from that disrepute, your battle is just beginning, surely. Well, I certainly never expected to hear those words from your lips. 
and I waited a very long time to come to London. Now I'm properly here, I intend to learn all that I can. Mm. Anyway, goodbye for now, Rienosuke Narahodo. No smile. Mm. Kazuma Asogi. It seems as though he's really matured suddenly. In like the last five minutes, actually. <laughs> he's not the only one who's matured, Mr. Narahodo. <laughs> Don't you dare no. take it out of context, you <laughs> no, dirty boy. No, you no I wasn't. Dirty I wasn't boy. Gonna, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can't chastise me and Taylor this time. I was going to say, me, I'm 18 now, so now we can, oh, we can go God and have a drink. Oh. <laughs> you had to do it. You had to. <laughs> you went there. <laughs> hmm? Well, I think we should make our way, way back to Baker Street. We must help Iris with tonight's dinner. Yeah. We must! Credits? No. Not yet. It was then that I came to an important decision about my future. Taylor getting over eager oh, for the, the credits. <laughs> Oh no, his show's <laughs> gonna be upset. <laughs> Dyrus isn't doing the What do you pheasant. mean? All I see there is a big steak. The big steak. I'm home! Oh! Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> that time you got here, whew, I've been waiting ages, Odo. I'm bloody starving. <laughs> what, what are you doing with that colourful piece of history? <laughs> it's a party, isn't it? It's gotta go off with a bang. I mean, fireworks, ideally. But when you ain't got fire, smoke's the next best thing, ain't it? It went all over the food! <laughs> There's a girl on Fresno Street who could help you with that, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> right, I'll remember that. Wait, no, no, <laughs> Dina, stop. You don't have to reload that thing every time I speak! Uh, that sounds like the sort of thing Iris. It's, well, it sounds like either Iris or Shoms. I don't actually. know. Really. Shoms. I think it's Shoms because it's his corner. You of the study. really must hear this. It's quite the most extraordinary thing. Yeah, <laughs> I assure you, it will defy your expectations. Take down every detail now, Makotaba. Ah, the world famous great detective regaling his partner with the tale of his adventure. A sight to behold. <laughs> Would you care to hazard a guess? Where do you suppose the fiendish runaway had concealed himself? Would you believe? Inside the trunk I found abandoned in his cabin. Um, I would believe it, yes, because I was with you. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Makotaba, I detect not a hint of surprise. <laughs> I wonder why that is. Maybe because I was there. <laughs> At the scene as well, Sholmes. <laughs> ah. oh, what? You were? Then why the deuce didn't you say so before? That bite is really terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's like me. No, no. <laughs> not. Pete's just like suddenly recalling, oh, you know, we had this most wonderful trip to London. And you would have loved it, Taylor. There was a Final Fantasy concert. <laughs> we went to the Sky Garden and everything else. Pete, I was I was there. Where you were? Were you? <laughs> were you? <laughs> Not quite the sight I was expecting to behold, but still. It's hard not to feel privileged to see it. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sholmes. Professor Makotaba. I'm finally back from the Bailey. And not a moment too soon. A feast prepared by Iris and Mr. Sato awaits. I must say, I haven't seen Sasato looking so happy in a very long time. Ah! Oh, Bruno, there you are! <laughs> Dinner is on the table, everyone. Please, uh, do come and take a seat. Time to fill me boots. What? Well, no, no, you don't... That's <laughs> You're supposed to eat the food, Gina. It's an expression. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh. oh. Goodness. Is that really true, Gina? Yep. I'm losing me copper's clobber and going back to what I know best. It's a diver's life for me. You're really leaving the police force? But why, Ginny? Well, the boss ain't around no more, so... 
Oh. And anyway, no matter how hard I try, that Reaper ain't never gonna accept a diver turned dick, is he? Well, people can change, you know. Ah, yes. That reminds me. I rather thoughtfully offered to relieve the bailiff of this now defunct piece of evidence. Huh. Eh? It's the inspector's pocket watch! Hmm. And the crown has been reattached. His old theme in the background. Hmm. That watch was his pride and joy. A symbol of his great achievements at Scottish Yard. For ten years without fail, it measured every second of the man's remarkable career. But now, it stopped. Someone needs to keep the memory of Inspector Gregson's career alive by taking on the great responsibility of winding that watch every single day again. Yes, someone with an equally fierce detective spirit. Well, it's gotta be me. There ain't no one else. Quite right. <laughs> you get, you, you get, you picked up what we're putting down. I mean, after all, the boss was, well, he was my boss. Yes, Ginny. Yes, he was. Oh, it's such a relief that she that she understands. <laughs> For a minute there, I wasn't sure she uh, was going to uh, get are it. Are you taking the wee wee? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah. And I made a promise to you all and all, didn't I, Iris? That I'd become a proper detective one day and track down your old man. <laughs> oh. Oh. About that. Ooh. Oh no. Eey. Oh no. Oh! On oh, second thought. All right, then it's decided. I'll do it. And I swear, I'll find your dad and bring him in, in kicking and screaming. Uh, oh, well, no. about that. That might not oh. be a good idea, Gina. <laughs> um, uh, oh, dear. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that'd be appropriate. That would be appropriate. Yes, I think, Gina, it might be best to, well... I think I'd like you to forget that promise, Ginny. Eh? Iris? I've known all along. I'm waiting. <laughs> well, obviously I've always wondered about who my real daddy is, of course. Uh, of course I have. Oh, is she now going to be like, oh, but, Sh but Sholmes, however, has been such a good dad to me and whatnot, and so Maybe. he's my daddy. Sorry, I needed a drink of water because my throat Why was like dying. Why are you <laughs> apologising? I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> I wanted to know where I've come from. I thought it might tell me something about myself. But I've caused such a lot of trouble trying to find out. For so many people. Hurley, Bruno, Professor Mickey. Professor Mickey. <laughs> I think it's cute. Uh, oh, no. Not at all, my dear. <clears throat> really, you owe no apology to anyone. Well, anyway, I decided to give up on it because I finally realised my daddy is the greatest in the world. I don't think it matters what his name is or where he's from. Don't you agree, Hurley? <laughs> no. <laughs> we, 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 this is there's nothing in my eye, shush. <clears throat> With every word, Iris. Thank you, Hurley. Who put these onions here? Thank you. <laughs> Daddy. Oh! <laughs> so cute. <sighs> I think Mikotaba. Yes, Sholmes. I think I, that I ought to express my gratitude to you. Uh, who? For six years, you and I solved many a mystery together. And during that time, I remember countless expressions of gratitude for our good services. 
But a moment ago, I heard the most pleasing expression of gratitude of them all. And I should never have experienced it, were it not for you. <laughs> you old softy, Sholmes. <laughs> Uh, but I must confess, it's a weight off my mind to hear you say it. <laughs> well then, I think this calls for a lengthy violin recital, wouldn't you say? <laughs> oh, well, the food would go <coughs> cold, that's the only problem. Um, maybe next week, early? Uh, are you sure a week is long enough, Iris? Go! <laughs> Even amidst the most troubling of cases, even reeling from the most shocking of revelations, returning in the evening to this suite of rooms, there's always warmth and happiness to be had. The home of the world's greatest detective, and my home too, with my greatest family. This attic room has been my home and office for almost a year now. More than two, actually. <clears throat> I've certainly had some unforgettable experiences whilst I've lived here. But I think now, the time has come. Time to bid this place farewell. Hmm. Uh, who is that going to be? Uh, Shams? No? Shams? No, or, say, well, or is it Eugen, perhaps? No, no, no. Might be Eugen. Yeah, what a guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a professor. Because I don't think uh, I don't think Sholmes calls him Narahodo, does he? No, he says Mister Narahodo, and is it's it? definitely not Cesato because oh. she says Mister Narahodo. Yeah. So. Are you alone? I didn't hear any sound from Cesato's room. Uh, yes, yeah, Cesato's son went out after dinner. Uh, she took a carriage. Something about an important matter she needed to take care of. Still keeps going. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I see. I wanted to thank you for what you did earlier. Oh? With Iris, I mean, when the subject of her father came up. Lord Clint Van Zeeks. I made up my mind many years ago never to tell her who her real father was. But what was agreed with Genshin after all? Lord Clint Van Zeeks's final wish before he died, you mean? Yes. I've had to take some rather drastic steps at times to protect that secret, you know. Calling Sasato back to Japan six months ago, for example. <gasps> That's why? When I read Soseki-san's report about his final days in London, my heart nearly stopped. You'd stumbled across the crux of that terrible case. Mm. A dog's collar. The description of the Baskerville insignia left me in no doubt. Baskerville. If you'd decided to investigate that insignia, sooner or later you'd have made the connection to the Van Zeeks. And to make matters worse, Susato knew of the unpublished story as well. The story that Iris had written based on my notes from the time. Ah, yes, the Hound of the Baskervilles. Exactly. It was a work of fiction, but based on the grim reality of a huge beast of a dog being used as a murder weapon. A dog with the Baskerville family emblem around its neck. Armed with those two clues, I feared you and Sasato might arrive at the truth. So I invented that story about having collapsed to justify her leaving London and returning to Japan at once. All in aid of halting any investigations you and she might have been contemplating. <clears throat> I see. Something I've never understood is why Suzato-san came across that manuscript in Japan, though. Because it was so exciting, I had to read it for myself. <laughs> 
You know, Iris is the Hound of the Baskerville story, I mean. Mm. Sherm sent it to me. That was before Susato left Japan. He was very troubled about what should be done about it, you see. Yes, it was in safekeeping at Windy Banks, wasn't yeah. it, originally? I had read it and <coughs> carelessly left it on my desk, which is where Susato came across it, of course. Ah. It was the only case Sherm's and I ever pursued that I didn't record in meticulous detail. I was stunned when I discovered that young Iris had pieced together so much of it from my paltry notes. Sherms and I discussed the matter and decided that we couldn't allow the story's publication. At that point, I returned the manuscript by post to Sherms for safekeeping. So you did all that to stop Iris from finding out the truth about her father? Yeah, that's right. Because Sholmes had told me how astute she'd become. However, having witnessed events in court today, I must say my opinion has somewhat shifted. Oh? I think at some point in the future, the time will come for Iris to know the truth. And when it does, well, I believe it will be for the best. Hmm. I think so, too. Ah. Uh, actually, uh, Professor, I... I wanted to talk to you about something, too. Hmm. Judging from that expression, I'd say you've come to a decision, have you? How about him going back? Yes, I have. I... We'll be returning with you to Japan. And then, is he going to be like, nonsense? Mm. That's all out of the out of the question now. Yeah, maybe. I've seen how good you are in Britain. Are you quite sure? Are you quite sure? <clears throat> I'm really only here as a substitute for Kazuma. But he's here in Britain now, as originally intended. Locum student Narahodo doesn't really have a right to stay, I think. I see. Looking back now, when I first arrived here in February... 2022. <laughs> my becoming a lawyer just seemed to be the way things turned out. With Kazma, Suzato-san, and Mr. Sholmes all gently pushing me in that direction. I spent the best part of a year immersed in this world, but always aware of a seed of doubt inside me. Until today. Standing in that courtroom earlier, all doubts vanished from my mind. I was totally focused. I was sure of my belief in my client, and I was sure I could see the trial through. And at the end of it, I finally realized. No one else chose this path for me. I chose it myself. Hmm. The path of a defense lawyer, eh? Yes. That's what I am now. That's what I'll be going back with you to Japan as. Oh, are you so sure? And that's the path I'll be following for the rest of my life. Well, it sounds like you've made quite a resolution there. I have. Very well, then. I must say, it's extremely welcome news. I shall make arrangements for your return first thing tomorrow. But... I don't imagine we'll depart for a few days. Not with the symposium having been cancelled now. Such a shame. Uh, never mind. I'm sure there'll be other opportunities in the future. <laughs> well then, I'll bid you good night. See you later, alligator. Oh, so, so. uh oh. <clears throat> Did she hear everything? Oh no. 
It's a Suzato san. I'm sorry, I heard everything. <laughs> I, I just wanted to let you know that I'm back. Uh, and that was about ten minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I want you to know that I've just gotten approval for both of us to stay in London oh, forever. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh no! That would be pretty sad. Did you um hear what your father and I were discussing? I'm sorry. I did. Yes. I. I couldn't help, but. Oh. How much did you hear? Pretty much all of it. <laughs> Every last word. <laughs> well. You know my hearing is actually quite quite good. From the part about Iris's real father, I think. In other words, <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> So, you've made up your mind. You'll return to Japan and continue working as a defence lawyer. Ah, yes, I'm... I'm sorry. I, I really should have consulted you about it. I did want to earlier this evening, actually, but you'd already gone out. Oh, no, that's quite all right. I already knew that's what you'd decide, Naruhodo-san. You did?! Uh, um, Suzato-san. Uh, yes? I suppose this means it has to be farewell soon. I suppose. But does it? Mm. You'll be a great help to Kazuma going forward. I mean, I, I know he's a brilliant lawyer, but he's new to the British courtroom. He'll certainly benefit greatly having a brilliant judicial assistant at his side. I'll do my very best. Um, I, I wish I could say it, but I just can't. I can't ask her to come with me. After all, she was always supposed to be coming to Britain as Kazuma's assistant. Late. The hour uh, as the as the moonlight casts onto the shovel there. <laughs> I, did, I was gonna say it, but I didn't want to spoil it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. It's okay. We should both try to get some sleep. I'm sure you must be exhausted after today. Oh, uh, yes, uh, you're right. Before I retire, let me just say one more time. You really were quite splendid in court today. Come on, dude, you need to shoot your shot. <laughs> I was going to yeah. say, Ryunosuke, on, just Rudo. ask gotta her for Rudo. God's sake. You've got to do it. Pop the question, Now's man. the time. <laughs> Pop the question. Not that question, but... Now's the time. So, if you ask me, anyone who thinks of you as a substitute or a locum should be ashamed of themselves. Susanto san Thank you. Come on, man. When she looks dude, at you with those dude, eyes. Dude, dude. God dang it. God dang it, Rudo. Ah! <laughs> or are they gonna, is it going to be one of those fairy tale ones where she is like on the boat and then she's running along the pier yeah. or something? Oh, well, no. It's, it's sort of a reverse, right? Because then she was originally going to leave and he was able to catch yeah, her at Dover yeah. before she did or yeah. something. Yeah. So now, he's gonna, now it's come. He's going to be on the boat. She's going to be on the port. And he's going to be like, come with me. And she's going to be like, oh, sure. But right now, it's not very convenient. <laughs> I'm afraid, Mr. Narahodo, I can't swim. I'll have to catch the next boat. <laughs> but I'd love to. And then Iris brings out the grappling. <laughs> that would be amazing. <sighs> I can't believe the day's finally Although, come. Although thinking about how That's the too, thinking about how the last game went, this is the part where it's suddenly where it's suddenly revealed that there's another super sinister plot in the background. Oh god. <laughs> and it's like, oh no. Oh no. Tune in for the disc two of the game. <laughs> disc two. <laughs> oh, Can Jesus. you believe that we're only 30% of the way through? Oh for God's sake. You're 
really leaving then, Runo? I'm afraid so, Iris. Thank you so much for everything. I don't know what I'll do without your wonderful cooking and delicious tea. Oh. I wish you weren't going. But... But you have to come back and visit. Say you will. Of course. I, I promise. Oh, a sinister plot is in motion. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, it was a very brief reunion, but it was a pleasure to pursue a case with you again after so long. For a while, at least, it felt like old times. Yes, I suppose on reflection, there's something to be said for it. Having a little fun once in a while. Gun. <laughs> I'll just go and say goodbye to the professor as well, I think. All right, Iris, you do that. Honk. Honk. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard it in the background. That yeah, wasn't a yeah. <laughs> Oh no, it's a ghost. <laughs> Susato Why is the text box not sure? I don't know. I've just checked, Naruhodo san. Your luggage is already on board. Such a beautiful morning. Perfect for embarking on a journey, isn't it? Come on, Ryunosuke. <laughs> Before I set off, I'd, I'd just like to say how thankful I am for everything you've done for me. And give my warmest regards to Kazuma, please. Actually, I think you ought to give him your regards in person. Don't you? And then the camera pans across and he's there. <laughs> yeah. Sorry? Ryunosuke. There he is. <laughs> Kazuma! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> As if I wasn't going to see you off, you old fool. <laughs> Do you really think I'd miss my best friend's departure? Or, or that. Yeah, basically exactly the same thing. Thanks. To be honest, I'd been looking forward to our wild time tearing up the streets of Her Majesty's capital. But... Hmm. Well... We'll have to save that for another time. Personally, I'm looking forward to facing you in court again. Me too. But we're both defence lawyers, so... I wouldn't be so sure about that. I'm going to become a prosecutor. <sighs> the filth. <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> Bad. I'll stay in Lord Van Zeeks's tutelage for the time being, but before long... I intend to be just as formidable as the Reaper himself. Hopefully not as formidable as a Von Karma, though. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I see. Actually, Ryunosuke, I have a favor to ask. Please take Suzato back with you. Yeah. <laughs> Cosmo having to be the biggest bro <laughs> ever because Bruno the is The biggest too wingman. Thick yeah, skull. wingman. Yeah, that was the word I was thinking yeah. of. Yeah. Name it. Oh. oh. Oh, he's giving him sticky. I'd like you to take care of this for me for You can a while. have the sword, I'll have Sasato. <laughs> yeah. Dang no. it. Sticky? <laughs> sticky. Why? <laughs> he's like, sticky. sticky? <laughs> Karma, why? Because I've seen it now. I've seen what's inside me. The demon that reared its ugly head that day. It was only for the briefest of moments, the last time I came face to face with that inspector. But it was unmistakable. Is that why the sword ship then? Because he, he lost his way. Yeah. Hmm. I wanted to kill him. I've always known there are demons that live inside people. And now I know there is one in me. The fact that it very nearly consumed me is something I'll carry with me until the end of my days. While I devote my life to fighting those whose demons have got the better of them. 
as a prosecutor. So, that's what you've resolved to do, is it? <laughs> Until I'm ready to face the demon within me, to slay it once and for all. I leave this in your care, if you'll take it. Well, it's broke, so... <laughs> no, of course... <laughs> of course I will. I'll keep it by my side, always. So, yeah, thanks, giving me a broken sword noise. Thank you, Ryanosuke, but I will ask one thing. Don't put sticky eyes on it. The sticky residue was a nightmare <laughs> the to the get off. <laughs> the adhesive was so hard to remove. <laughs> Until we meet again, then, you have your path to follow, and I have mine. Um, Narahodo-san? And then that's Shomes randomly calling in Narahodo-san. <laughs> in that voice. Narahodo-san? <laughs> Suzato's gonna... I have been waiting for you to ask me to come with you this entire time. <laughs> oh, I no. so hope she does. Suzato's going to, like, just make the decision for him. That would be, that would be funny. It's like, for goodness sake, I have been waiting and waiting and waiting and just for God's sake. Say it! <laughs> the path you're going to follow from now on. I wonder. Yeah! Yes! Yay! Yay! There we go! Someone I... had the balls to say it! <laughs> <laughs> and it was the woman! <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm sorry. You're ruining the sad I bit. Am. <laughs> it's not a sad bit, it's a happy bit. It's well, the, 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 you're ruining moment. the emotion. Yeah. I'm moment. ruining the emotion. I wonder if I might follow at your side, unless I'd be a burden. What? I, like, huh? I I mean I I, I w w would have, would very much <clears throat> like you to come with me, uh, but uh, but. Aren't you? <laughs> You're so predictable, Rianosuke. <laughs> I am? Honestly, you never change at all. But that's what I like about you. You, you, you mean you knew about oh, this? Oh, come on, man, it was obvious. <laughs> it was the evening after Lord Van Zeeks' trial came to an end. This is oh, she, she was went. going to tell him. Yeah. yeah. She came to see me at the prosecutor's office. Really? When I had that conversation with Professor Makotova. <laughs> mm. So, you'd go with Ryanosuke back to Japan? Yes. I know it's unfair of me to follow my own interests like this. Coming here especially to tell me. Oh, sorry, oh. that was the wrong one. Yeah. <clears throat> Coming here to s especially to tell me. You're a stickler for etiquette, aren't you? Well, oh, no. oh, it's okay. It's sorry. not. It, you're having to guess. Yeah, because so. there's no mouth movement, so it's difficult. Well, what are his feelings? He won't tell me, and it's <laughs> making me very and increasingly <laughs> angry. <laughs> I'm going to. It's unleashing a demon within me too. <laughs> We've never discussed it, of course. And Narahoda san has made no such suggestion. Because he's a dick! Yeah. <laughs> I worry that perhaps I'd be oh. a <laughs> <laughs> It really, it's just Sarah. It's yeah, just Sarah. It is. This is reminding me of the Leighton case. The whole communication thing. Yeah, it's yeah, just like, yeah. God. I worry that perhaps I'd be a burden to him. Though honestly, I I understand Ryunosuke's plight because I'd be in the same situation. Yep. And it's like I never want to assume that another person likes me or has a romantic interest in me or whatever. So I will take even the most obvious sign of flirting as just a friendly, cordial interest <laughs> in order to avoid jumping to assumptions and looking like a fool. Oh, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta go with it. <laughs> He's just as much of a stickler for etiquette as you are. He'd never say anything before he was asked. But I'd feel happy knowing you were with him. Look out for him on, by on my behalf, will you? <gasps> of course! So Aww. I'm coming with you because Kazuma <laughs> made me do it. <laughs> Suzato-san? What? what? What do you think, Narahoda-san? 
With you by my side, no trial would seem too daunting. So, if you're willing, I'd be honored if you'd come with me. Together, we can take on the world. By the way, I appreciate that I've given you absolutely no time to pack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't worry. <clears throat> Everything is packed in my sleeves. I've brought it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What? Oh, no! Susanto! That's not true! She is me! <laughs> <laughs> yes, she really yes. is. <laughs> I'm terribly incompetent, but if you'll have me... I'd be delighted. Oh, no, no, not at all. If anyone's terribly incompetent, it's me. And we know it. <laughs> Accurate. Oh. Ah! What's wrong? Your luggage, Suzato san uh, There's no time. The ship's going to set sail any minute now. Ah. Uh, oh, it, it's all right. There's no need to worry. It is indeed in my sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> As it happens, uh, my luggage is... Already on board, too. I, I hoped that you were going to say yes, and so I just assumed <laughs> yes, that you may otherwise have... it would have been very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> awkward boat ride back. Mm. Just... Mm. It is? <laughs> You're fine, judicial assistant. Has everything in hand, as always, I see. Not everything. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Honk. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Honk. That's the. They're bug. gonna do one last objection though, right? I'm just waiting. Yeah, for they, yeah, they have to. They usually do. Bruno, your ship's about to leave. Time to go then. Look after yourself, Ryunosuke. Kazuma. Draw your sword. Whoa, oh, right, right here now in front of me, everyone. Sir. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Do you mind, sir? In public? Hmm? One day, when our paths cross once more, we'll fight a duel, a duel of words, across the courtroom. A day I eagerly await as a lawyer. <laughs> I've been waiting to hear you say that, partner. Don't forget me then, Kazuma. As if I could, Ryanosuke. And Mr. Sholmes, thank you so much. I'm very much indebted to you. Indeed, Mr. Narahodo. I believe you are, and I will take payment in coin as soon as is able, please. <laughs> I'll ne- Oh no, that's- <laughs> I'll never forget all you've done for me during my time in London. Quite. Now, I should like to think you'll remember your debt of gratitude. Your but actual... will he remember his debt of gratitude? Yes, he will remember his debt of gratitude. We'll we'll have Taylor, to, we'll, no. We'll find, we'll find right. you, you are kidding me. <laughs> you had better be doing a bit right now. <laughs> are you doing a bit? Yes. God. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you serious? <laughs> Especially when I visit you in your country. What? <laughs> the truth is, although many are ignorant of the fact... The world is far smaller than most folk realize. <clears throat> well, I'd be delighted if you came to Japan one day. Oh, yes. We'd welcome you with open arms, Mr. Sholmes. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I can't wait. In that case, let us conclude that this is to be merely a brief parting, my dear fellows. And that brings us to the end of my adventures in Great Britain. Honk! <laughs> Aww. A peculiar twist of fate brought me halfway around the world those many months ago. 
But that was just the start of my journey. Who knows where fate will lead me next? <laughs> Still, I'm confident this won't be my last meeting with the friends I've made in London. And when we're together again... No doubt the first words I'll hear will be... Come! Come! The game, <laughs> the is, a game foot. is a foot! Come! The game is a foot! The ship with our friends from the east sailed steadily towards the distant horizon. But Shims' face was alight with joy. The times may change, but a steadfast friendship will remain true, Wilson. We have but to gently close our eyes and we are with our companions once more. So I do just that. And when I do, I can hear his strong familiar voice ring out. OBJECTION! Until we meet again, Bruno! Oh, oh my god, my we, god, we did it! Finished yeah. it. <laughs> Yay! Oh! <sighs> I, so, I'm sad! I don't want it to end. Oh, oh, heck! I've been thoroughly inundated with inquiries about my remote cinematograph since that day. But I'm no purveyor of electrical goods! And what of the promised closed court secrecy? Anyway. I've decided an absence from London is in order. A sojourn in distant climes. The Empire of Japan, perhaps. I understand that wardrobe class incurs no charge whatsoever. Wardrobe class. Yeah, because Hiding Bruno's the wardrobe. Hidden the wardrobe. Oh, God. Oh, I, I, I thought he meant literally like something about trying on outfits or something. Mm. I gave a little note to Hurley the other day. It just said, thank you for everything, Daddy. But it made Hurley cry. And I gave him some lotion I'd invented as well to dye his hair red safely. But he said that might make him cry too, so he'd rather not use it. <laughs> Grumpy. <clears throat> In those days, when I was known as the Reaper, I felt your presence at my side. Once, Unable to bear the burden of that grim pseudonym, I even retired from the courtroom. Despite everything, I still wear your prosecutor's badge with pride. But the darkness that once beset me is no more, as you too are no more. In the words of a young foreign friend of mine, I must strive forward toward a brighter future. Dana. The boss left Aww. a note for me, you know. And I can read every letter now. A to Z, the whole lot. It's cleared a lot of stuff up. The boss was trying to protect me, see? Left. And that's exactly what me and Chief Inspector Toby here are going to keep doing for Londoners. Hmm. I do miss diving, though. I only wish I could have said how grateful I was before he... Or, you know... I do like the medleys of the themes they do for mm. the credits. Gina, the truth is I'm not the upstanding fellow you think I am. You might be a diver at heart, but it's a good heart. You've reminded me I need to be true to myself. I've got one more job to take care of before it's ta, -ta to London Town for the foreseeable. And then, I've got to complete your education in the art of detection, a la Gregson, as they say. God damn it. <clears throat> Only he didn't. Mm. 
Your Excellency, this man is accused of illegal entry into the office of the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Objection! Objection. Oblique overstatement! Overruled! The minister has been detained in Britain anyway! Who is this caddish counsel for the defense? And women are forbidden to enter the courtroom! Oh, really? <laughs> My friend Suzette son is in the British courtroom all the time and doing a wonderful job! Perhaps I should have engaged the services of a regular legal team. Oh, of course, because he was in the office. <laughs> He's standing trial for breaking into Jigoku's office to get the telegram. Uh, <laughs> yes. And those were the two he could find. Yeah. I love the idea of Soseki doing freaking uh, legal yeah. stuff. Oh. <laughs> Mama, is it true about Japanese people? Are they experts at filling in corpses? Yes, they are. Fish corpses on the whole. I'd like to hone my own filleting skills. You don't mind, do you, Mama? Yes, I do. I'm not a corpse yet, am I? Mm. No. And I'm glad. Oh, I smile. <laughs> Can't remember Scythe's voice. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, I think it worked. I'm. Oh, God. Who else is there going to be? Uh, I, hey, it's me! <laughs> I didn't think I didn't realize it was gonna do like so so. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Here I am again in Great Britain on the invitation of my dear old university friend. He sent me a very nice letter saying he'd like to show me around now that everything was settled. But what have I done? I was so excited I picked this splendid hotel, and now I can't afford the bill. Oh, Brock! Come to my rescue again, please! I I wish I could just vanish into thin air sometimes. <laughs> Wait! That's a hypothesis I might add. <laughs> My <laughs> hypothesis. <clears throat> An invisibility cloak. <laughs> invisibility cape. Yeah. Uh, so I'm trying to think who else is left. Uh, uh -oh. Yeah, yeah. Nope. When I went to make the waxwork impression of the killer in the cemetery, I realized what had happened. But even in the witness stand of the highest god in the land, I could never speak of it. The Lord Chief Justice and I had struck a bargain, you see. For a faithful reproduction of the visage, there is nothing we two spells would not do. <laughs> Calm down, you thirsty people. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour. Oui, oui. <laughs> you can't have them all, Taylor. <laughs> Leave some That's for awesome. everyone. Oh. He <laughs> he! Everyone calls me gossip. I sell jaunty little tidbits to passers by, you know. He <laughs> he! Everyone calls me Pepino. And I sell the spaghetti. It's more red than my head. Hey hey! Everyone they call me. No, no, I cannot do it. This is ridiculous. Oh, Daly, how charming. You've made lots of new friends here, I see. Yes, and when we're released. We're all gonna strike it rich together. Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> Pepino, oh, yeah. where did you get that from? <laughs> you know we got that spaghetti you in can't here. Keep oh no, eating he's eating all of our dinners. He's watched that one YouTuber and he's made it in the back of the uh, prison toilet. No. Oh, no. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Ew. When I was accepted on the foreign study tour, I knew exactly what path I had to take, and however it might have ended. I knew that I wanted you there to see it. If I'd ended up in the dock, there's no one I would have rather had defending me. It's just too quick. <laughs> but now, thanks to you, there's a new path I want to take. I'm sure we'll meet again in the courtroom, my friend. Until then, I leave Karuma in your care. Karuma. 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 Von Karuma. I'm sorry for butchering. <laughs> you didn't butcher anything. Hey, at least you got to say the whole sentence. Badly, but yes. <laughs> oh? Uh, oh, is this chicken? Chicken? No. I've made some tea, Narahodo-san. It's important that you rest whilst you can. Once we arrive in Japan, you shall be busy establishing your new office. I'm so delighted to be accompanying you. After all, your talents have been recognized by a great detective. Because you really are the greatest of lawyers. A great ace attorney, some might say. <laughs> she said the thing! She, she said, said the thing! thing. <laughs> <laughs> she did it! Ladies and gentlemen, we got one! <laughs> oh. oh. 
Is Shom's going to be dangling from the freaking... No. Oh. Okay. There we go. Oh. oh, he's painted the Daruma doll as well. Of course. Yeah, he completed oh. his... Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's super cute. Oh. And Wagahai's Wagahai. in there too. <laughs> Meow. Oh, Wagahai, baby of Wagahai. I don't know. Oh, not Wagah. Oh, I don't know. Wagahai oh, went no. with Suzeki, didn't he? I Wait. think. No, but... I don't know. No, Wagahai stayed. Oh. Oh, guys, it's done. It's done. It's finished. Well, apparently not yet. I'm sad. So, so, wow. So for me. Oh. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I did. I did like um, Susato's Riotaro. Riotaro. So, I, yeah, I want to say for me, you may remember at the end of the first game, Sarah and Sarah and I were kind of like, we're not sure about this. Mm. Like it feels like it. The first game seemed to take quite a lot of time mm. uh, to get established and. If we'd have experienced this back when it originally was released and it was just like the first game on its own and then mm. we'd have had to wait for the second, I feel that like that opinion's justified. Mm. But now having played the second game, like, you know, the two of them back to back, I think I can confidently say as someone who has played the series from one through to six, yep. I haven't played the uh, the um, the investigations Stations. ones, I will say, but yeah, one to six. Tune in for that. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is the best one. I do. Th I, I do think it's. <laughs> I I would agree. I would agree that this is like of all the Ace Attorney games that we've played on this channel, of all the ones that I've personally been involved in. Ah, oh, behold the Shamspear <laughs> dance! Hello, good fellows. Hello, like, oh, goodbye. It's it's Hello. Just goodbye. Just ignore him. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Yeah. No. I just. I think the they balance the emotional highs and lows really well. They've got a really cool, you know, cast of characters, and it just, you know, it's it's. Very hard. I just think, yeah, the the way that they managed to wrap the, all of the plot up as well. They 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 really wrapped. I mean, I'm sure there'll be something that I've missed, but I'm pretty sure they've wrapped everything in a ni nice, neat and tidy bow. Mm. And it's just, I don't know, the the payoffs, like just again and again, were just crazy, like just unbelievable. Um, so yeah, <laughs> tap dancing, motion capture, and voice actress. Yep. Sarah, do you? No, have, oh, I. No, no, no. Sorry. Yes, no, no, sorry. No, 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 please, no, no, Sarah. No, you no, say no, something. No, it's fine. You, you started, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it just, yeah, I, I really, I really enjoyed the cast of characters. I really enjoyed, like, I, I think, you know, the fact that they were able to tie in everything that we saw earlier, even the things that we were oh, like, oh, yes. I wonder how this will come back. They were able to connect everything and give a very satisfactory resolution. Yeah, absolutely. I just saw what Sandwich's sign said. It said, "Hot actual hero." It was clearer yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't tell what it said before. <laughs> yeah, the, I, I sort of obviously mirror what Pete said. Like at first, I was like quite gutted because I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm enjoying this or not when it, yeah. when it first started, and I'm like, I really hope not because I was like super hyped when they said this was gonna come, like be translated and come over. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the boy. There he is. They've got the moves. Look at um, him go. Still got the moves. Still got the moves. But yeah, this has easily become like one of my favorite games. Like just how how thought provoking it's been. Like getting you to think of like theories and yeah, like wild theories. Boo. Boo. Um, Boo. Yeah, just I've not really had that with any. I mean, I've not played all of the Ace Attorney again, so kind of after after this, it's all going to be new again for me because I haven't played past three. Yeah, Sarah, so. Sarah and Taylor are both in the same boat. Like as I said, I've played from the like from one through to six, but mm -hmm. they've only played the original trilogy and this. So yeah. it'll be interesting to see how they feel about the others. <laughs> oh. But the door. <laughs> but yes, I have thoroughly enjoyed it and just the whole twists and turns has just been what what the hell? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been crazy. <laughs> I do I do feel like I would have hated it if we'd have had the original Japanese release and had to wait again because yeah, it just because yeah. obviously that first game it's almost like it's almost the whole point of it is just to establish the cast and just yeah. to get you get right. you invested in them because if okay, we well, yeah, it got better. Yeah, like, it, it did improve. I, you know what? The, the best analog I can think of is that it's the equivalent of the Final Fantasy of Realm Reborn, like the first expansion, right? Mm. The first expansion sort of, well, you, mean the, you know, it has the base, slower moments. The base it, game, you mean? The base game, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It then sets its uh, the, uh, everything else, and that's what lets the later parts be so good. Yeah, I, I'm inclined. I think that's, that's a pretty uh, sound analogy, to be honest. Yeah. 
because it does just seem to be like, when does the fun happen? <laughs> and, then, and then, and then, yeah. Oh my gosh, we did it! But oh. above all, uh, we want to thank everyone watching for going on this journey with us. Yes. Whether you started with us at the beginning of the game and followed us through to now, or even if you just <laughs> jumped in the middle and then, yay, we got the the risen resolve. <laughs> Um, and then even if you just jumped with us in the middle and then decided to watch through, um, we hope that you all have enjoyed. And we also very much hope that you will join us for the next game because there are plenty more to come. There is definitely plenty more to come. Indeed. Yes. Just don't just don't expect us to complete it like inside of a year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we go for the long haul. You've got, remember, you've got to remember there's the disillusion plays time and all that. Yes. It's, it's not dissimilar. Whatever, whatever not, the ga original game play, double it. It's not, not dissimilar to Valve time. And yes. so with that, everybody, I've been Pete. I've been Sarah. And for the last time from the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, I'm Taylor. And remember, everyone, that no matter how dark something may seem, that it's always worth continuing to stride towards the light. Thank you. <laughs>